All right, folks, coming at you with another little tidbit here uh, nutrition-wise. Usually I'm talking about optimizing metabolism and things like that because it's so neglected. But nutrition-wise, in the last week, there must be some new marketing scam out there. People are asking me about protein. Some people are asking me about if they switch to a more plant-based diet, how that's going to affect their training and their goal for physique development. Uh, for instance, if they take out animal flesh and they put in my suggestion roasted unsalted nuts well you know what happens with the quality of protein and do i need to be worried about my my protein numbers and protein 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 and it all starts with protein and it all ends with protein nutritionally and metabolically and biochemically wrong 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 the focus in nutrition is always going to be first and foremost about protein sparing nutrients. For instance, carbohydrates and fats in a certain amount, in a certain amount of abundance per macro, and I'm not talking about crunching numbers, I'm talking about overall relation to your diet. If you have enough protein sparing nutrients, that's what allows protein to be spared, to be used for what it's meant to be used for and what makes it special, which is to build, repair, and rebuild tissue. If you don't have enough of the carbohydrate and fat protein sparing um, energy balance, macronutrient abundance, then protein is gonna be stripped of its nitrogen component and used for energy. That's called deamination. Uh, that, that deamination process is metabolically expensive and not in a way that helps you, but in a way that hurts you. So if you focus only on protein, as in this all this low carb nonsense, and you don't get in enough of the protein sparing, all right, other macros, which are fats and carbohydrates, then the protein you're taking in isn't doing much use for you anyway. If you take in and substitute out animal flesh protein, not completely, but here and there, for things like roasted unsalted nuts, you're going to get enough protein sparing, fat, carbohydrate, etc. in an overall balanced diet that it's not going to be an issue. So the solution is not protein, protein, protein. The solution is protein sparing elements that allow even little amounts of protein to be used for what it's designed to be used for, which is to build and rebuild tissue, repair tissue, um, uh, help adopt to post-workout stress, and of course, optimize metabolism. So that's it. In a nutshell, no pun intended, the focus in any kind of well-balanced diet is two things, twofold things first. Protein sparing abundance in terms of nutrient density and, and caloric density and optimizing metabolism. So it's not about protein, protein, protein. It's about protein sparing nutrients of fats and carbohydrates, and that can be done in a gazillion different ways. So. Um, hopefully that helps and stay tuned. I'll have more for you down the road.